In 2014, Tony Sieber predicted that one day electricity costs would hit zero or marginal costs. And he even said that they would often be at negative prices. Well, we've already seen that happen. We've already seen negative pricing occur on numerous occasions in Europe and Australia and even the US, but only for short periods of time. However, based on what has just happened, it appears as though Sieber's craziest and wildest prediction is on course to become a reality within only a couple of years. What Tony Sieber just said and what he's shared has been, it's been, well, sma really bashed by people on, on social media. Unfortunately, particularly a lot of them Australians have seen this post from Tony Sieber and they've said, where's the truth? Where are the facts? This doesn't sound, this isn't logical. I don't like this. Um, here's the thing, guys. Tony, people said the same thing about what Tony Sieber said back in 2014. That's when I first became a fan of Tony Sieber. And to be honest, it's what led me to want to create a YouTube channel to share what was going on. Tony Sieber is saying that solar panels will be so cheap that it will be it will make more sense to put up a solar fence rather than have a fence made out of wood. And he's saying that that's actually happening now. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. The main point, the reason I shared that thing at the start there, is the naysayers will always say it can't be done. The naysayers will always want to tear you down. The naysayers will always say they don't like you or what you're saying isn't true. Try to criticize your integrity in some way. You're clickbaiting them, for example, if you tell them something that's factual. However, Tony Sieber's predictions have almost all come true. I mean, Sieber said himself back in 2017 that we would see a million mile EV powertrain by 2030. Well, I think that powertrains now are capable of doing 1.6 million miles, but CATL have just revealed their batteries, which they say will last for 20 years or more and are capable of doing actually 3 million, 3 million. I mean, when you work out the number of um, charges they say these batteries can do, and they say that those batteries have 0% degradation for five years guaranteed, Tony was right. I mean, Tony said this was happening in 2030. Well, it's gonna happen. It's just happened six years early. Back in 2017, the naysayers said, oh, Tony Sieber's talking crap, or, you know, they, they always have a reason to say why things can't be done. Well, here's the thing. Solar panel prices have come down so much that the cost of solar power photovoltaic as per Tony Sieber and Rethink X is now so cheap that it can be used as a construction material, generating energy for free or even negative pricing. In Rethinking Humanity, he says, we predicted the intersection of the material and energy disruptions. These material disruptions will not be a simple substitution of new materials for old. Modern materials will disrupt sectors and transform society in unexpected ways. For example, as the cost of solar PV drops below the cost of building materials, such as structural plywood used in fencing, the line between construction and energy will blur. As builders use PV as building material because it is cheaper, the effective cost of electricity will be zero or even negative. That's something that people are really struggling to handle the cost of electricity being zero or negative. I've actually mentioned that numerous times. and I've been slammed by people. People have just gone, oh, that's crazy. That's never gonna happen. Uh, clickbait, you're clickbaiting us, clickbaiting us. Well, Tony Sieber's clickbaiting you then because I'm basically sharing with you what he said. Now, if you're gonna wanna go against his predictions, you're a very bold individual because he's everything he said has happened. Sieber says, our regulations need to catch up. Energy rights are human rights. Every human needs the right to generate, store, and trade electrons, just like we have the right to generate, store, and trade bits and bytes. And then, you know, they shared some um, uh, intriguing uh, scenarios here where people are using solar panels for fencing. It's pretty cool. It's starting to happen now in a, f a few different countries. In addition to this, guys, I just realized that, um, well, Germany, they are they're using them as basically balustrades. Germany has surpassed 400,000 solar PV balcony power plants in a very short period of time. And incredibly, 
More than 50,000 of these mini plug-in solar systems have been installed in the last three months in Germany, more than 50,000. I mean, this is coming from cleanenergywire.org slash news. If you want the source, some people sometimes ask me for the source, that's the source. The number of households in Germany operating solar panels on their balcony has continued to rise rapidly since the start of this year. They say more than 50,000 mini plug-in PV systems, usually consisting of one or two solar panels, dubbed balcony power plants, were registered in the first quarter of 2024, taking the total to more than 400,000. Uh, the crazy thing is that in mid-2023, there was only 230,000, meaning in the space of nine months, the number has almost doubled. Balcony power plants, they say, are a relatively simple and affordable way for both tenants and homeowners to save on electricity costs. Uh, basically, if you're going to build a balcony, why do it with glass? Use a solar panel. This is just a genius idea. I absolutely love this idea, guys. And it's really proving what Tony Sieber has been saying here what Rethink X have been saying. The price of solar panels has come down so much and it will continue to fall to the point where eventually it will make much more sense and it's starting to do so obviously already in places like Germany to use solar PV as a construction material. I mean, that's next level. And the key point is this, eventually because of this happening, electricity costs will go below zero or they will be at marginal cost. Now, that's one of the first things I learned from Tony Sieber back in 2014. I shared that with a lot of people and they all said I was nuts. Well, what do you guys think? Thanks for watching.